Hey, it's your boy Bobby Beach here. We want to talk about a subject that comes to mind, and that is Power of Book 2, Ghosts on Season 2 trailer. And we're going to be talking about different stuff that's going on there. That's, that's right. We're going to be talking about that. Now, basically, the main thing about the season is pretty much going to be, does the end justify the means? Meaning that we're going to be dealing with a whole lot of necessary evil. We're going to be dealing with a whole lot of stuff going down. There's going to be some people out there pretty much uh, backstabbing one another, all kind of stuff. So a whole lot of stuff's going to happen you don't see coming now when it comes down to it i want to say that i'm feeling this i can't wait to see where things are going to go with this season i pretty much knew it was going to happen like this and if you guys paid close attention everything comes together basically i think tyreek is going to have to choose whether he's pretty much going to be um it's like i said he's going to have to be either on his own or he's going to trust monet and i think he's going to get tired of the fact that monet is always saying something to him that's telling him you know you, you might die, you might do this, you might do that. But then again, you gotta remember, he has love for Monet like Monet has love for him. Despite the fact that Monet does say things to Tyreek, in the end, she truly trusts him or is beginning to trust him as Tyreek replaces Cain. And even if Cain was to come back, Tyreek will still outrank King, King, my bad, even um, because he's the most balanced. He has the hustle, he has the smarts, he has all of that. He, has, he can kill, he can do everything. So. Tyreek is like Monet's number one guy. Even if Kane was there and um, Drew was there and, and Diana was there, Tyreek is still number one. Now, how long is this gonna last? Who knows? Obviously, Kane is still messing with his own crew. There's a whole lot more still going on. Uh, we got a new detective in the case. He's saying that we're gonna look into the students when it comes to everything with Jabari. Uh, of course, we got old girl Carrie. And remember, when we look at her poster, it says lust. I've been telling you guys for a long time, this woman has some freaky stuff going on with her. She had, I'm telling you, she had a thing for Tyreek in the beginning of the season two. When Tyreek wasn't feeling her or she just couldn't keep up with him, she eventually turned her tensions to Zeke and really you knew, <laughs> you knew with her getting with Zeke, it was a freaky thing. Even with her and Jabari, uh, she kept getting, hooking up with him. Now, do I think she's gonna be hooking up a lot more this season? Yeah, obviously we see who she's hooking up with. I, I don't know if that's Zeke in the trailer or a whole new dude, but at the end of the day, I do think there's a chance her and Tyreek is gonna hook up this season as well maybe when she's in a bad spell or she's depressed she gets into like a sex thing she's probably a nympho so when it comes down to it we'll see just how things play out with her but i'm thinking in terms of tyreek and his team and how things are going to turn out with tyreek i think he's about to become his own man meaning he's probably going to cut off monet remember look at that monet with her with the things with her poster it says deception so who is monet deceiving who is she decepting uh tyreek is smart enough i'm thinking to pick up on monet the thing is he's never really been confronted with an adult opponent other than ray 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 was very backstabbing, you know, very nasty dude. He was just as nasty as Kanan was, to be honest with you, and worse in some ways. But Tyreek ended up taking Ray Ray out. So out of all the people that Tyreek took out from Ray Ray to Jabari and even his dad, and you guys seem to forget, put Kanan in that list because Kanan's in that list. Tyreek is responsible for four He's responsible for more deaths than four. But in terms of him being linked, he's responsible for like four people dying. First being uh, Ray Ray. He shoots Ray Ray over Reyna. Uh, Kanan, he sets Kanan up. Um, Ghost, he shoots his father out of nowhere. And I still think Ghost is not dead, but let's just say, you know, pretty much he shoots him. And now uh, Javari. So basically because Jabari was shot on campus, remember somebody else died on campus, now a professor died on campus, everything is hot. Meaning, how are you going to still sell your stuff on campus? Because now you got police all over the place looking into everything. So it's like, okay, what are you gonna do? Because Tyreek pretty much is gonna have to figure things out. So when it comes down to it, I do think he's gonna come out of this with his own crew, Braden in him. And I even wanna say the way, look, Diana may end up joining him. He's even, I'm thinking, gonna be getting down with Effie, but Effie may still be, be competition. And, and I really don't know. All I know is when it comes down to it, the season looked like it's gonna be good. I cannot wait to look at this. I can't wait to talk with you guys in regards to it, talk about these episodes, put some stuff together with you. You know, I just cannot wait. But I'm looking forward to this. I wanna to say to all of you that it's your boy, Bobby Beast here. I just wanna say much love, much respect, hold it down, and one. And this is my book, Shit's Not Checkers, It's Chess. In life, everybody knows it's a game, but you got to learn how to play it.